Wait, 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 man. When I say I just got home, I just got home and I clicked on my uh computer and I saw this title. I said, oh, man, I got to do a live reaction. Let me turn on the light. Turn on the light in here, baby. Oh, man, Vlad TV. Just ask Hassan Campbell the hundred million dollar question. The question that everybody wants to know. Why were you still around Bambada after he died you? I don't know what he going to say right here, but I bet you it's some bull ish. Because I'm going to tell you, anybody that allegedly did something to me, that is a man. I ain't. Nah, bro. No. Why would you entertain? See, there's a lot of questions, Hassan Campbell. That's why people say that, you know, y'all was in a relationship because ain't no straight man is going to be near another man that did something to him it's, it, it just don't make sense it don't make sense why you would take a picture with this dude knowing what he allegedly did to you like it, it don't make sense so that's why people are like yo they were probably in a relationship and it went bad Allegedly. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Okay, now you claimed at one point that after that shooting, Africa Bambada was a getaway driver? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you called a Bambada and he picked you up and, and took you away? Yeah. And, and, and him and I met, yeah. And see, that's, what, that's why, this is, this is why when um, I first came out with Af against Africa Bambada, they labeled me as a, um, a government informant. So I, I called, I met on the phone and I told him, I said, y'all got 24 hours to give me a public apology. Or if you want to make me into a rat, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the precinct and I'm going to let them know that you was the one that was the getaway driver in that car that, you know, that drove me and Eric up out of there. I'm gonna whoa, whoa. So what happened to Thug Life? Well, I don't know if y'all heard that because my volume was low. But whoa, what happened to the street code? I'm so confused because her son Poppy Campbell said that he the thuggest ruggest bone that, you know, ain't no snitching. Well, since you're in the street, that means you can't snitch on nothing. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just going by your rules. But let's just continue. Took you away? Yeah. And now, you claimed at one point that after that shooting, Africa Bambada was a getaway driver? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you called Bambada and he picked you up and, and took you away? Yeah. And, and, and him and I met. Yeah. And see, that's what. That's why. This is this is why when um I first came out with Af against Africa Bambada, mm -hmm. they labeled me as a, um, a government informant. He doesn't say um like this a lot. When he does his live stream, when he's at home, he don't be saying um, um, like this whole interview, he's saying um a lot. Um, 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 um. But when he's at home, I don't really hear him say um like that. So that's interesting. So I, I called, I met on the phone and I told him, I said, yeah, I got 24 hours to give me a public apology. Or if you want to make me into a rat, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the precinct and I'm going to let them know that you was the one that was the getaway driver in that car that, you know, that drove me and Eric up out of there. I'm gonna, just to set the record straight, Eric beat the case on trial. They broke it down to manslaughter, broke it down to assault in the first, and I copped out to assault in the first. I had three years on Rikers Island. Okay, I don't care about none of that. Let's, all right, uh, I'm just going to, exp I want to hear the answer of why you took that picture with Bam Bada. Matter of fact, let me Google that picture while I'm over here listening to you lie. I copped out to one and a half and four and a half, so I'm not even convicted of murder. It's actually assault in the first, but it was a murder case that they broke it down so that they could convict me because Eric beat it on a separate, Eric, we separate, the lawyer said it would be best for us to separate our case. So Eric beat it at trial when I copped out. But, well, if Bear Bottle's a getaway driver, there's no statute of limitations when it comes to murder. And, you know, when you look at, for example, the KPD situation 27 years later, it's kind of the same thing. Can he technically be convicted of being a part of that murder even today? Why do you think I kept saying everybody, if I wanted to put Jim Bam in jail, he would be? What? If you could put him in jail, he would be. So why not put him in jail? Bro, see, this is why people question you. You sound stupid. So if you wanted him in jail, you, you, you could. But yet you on the Internet crying about something that he did for you. And you say, I want the community to help me. Bro, you make, see, this is why people think that y'all was in a relationship because this makes no sense. Hassan, do you hear yourself? 
If you wanted him in jail, you could. Do you know what you sound like? You sound like a girl. You sound like a female that is in an abusive relationship with a man, but they are so in love and they are trapped. They want to get away, but they don't want to leave him. They know he's no good, but they stay with him. It's like he got mind control over you. Like you make no sense. You sound like, see, this is, this is what people in a abusive relationship, this is what they do. You have that type of trait. And I'm not even going to say a woman, just anyone that's in a abusive relationship, because men can be in a abusive relationship too. When people are in abusive relationship and they are so brainwashed, they want to get away, but they don't want to punish the person for some strange reason. That's what you sound like. You sound like you was in love with this man. Y'all was intimate. Y'all had relation. You knew it wasn't right. And you wanted to get away. Now you came to YouTube crying for help. You saying you were just in Bronx River. Screaming and yelling, talking about you wanted the community to back you. How you want the community to back you when you can't even back yourself? If you had the time, if you had the opportunity to really put him in jail, why not? You don't need the community to come put you in to to uh, help you with Bambada, according to your words. So why not throw that nigga in jail? You don't make sense. This is exactly why Ben doesn't play with me. So when people be like, oh, he's a government informant. No, you got to understand something. I've been, I was knee deep in these streets. And Ben played a big part in my life in these streets. That makes no sense. He don't know. Well, actually, he does know how to play with you because technically he already did. I guess what I don't understand is you get into the situation, you call Ben Bada to, to help get you out of there. Ben Bada gets stabbed, you show up at his house to, to support him. But if this is the dude that molested you, why, why would you ever be around him, period? Like, I. I Bingo! Exactly. Let's see what he says. I can, from my point of view, I would never want to see a person like that ever again. And if I did, I'd probably want to do something to them when I was around them. Well, I mean, there was a time where, and me and Eric laugh about it now when we came home from jail. I was groomed. I was around a bunch of child molesters that molested me. It's like, you know, when I say to my family, they... they he said that he can laugh about it? So if you can laugh about it, why... Man, bro, shut up! You can laugh about being molested? Do you know how stupid you sound? Was it? You literally just made a big fuss. You went to Bronx River crying, drunk, saying, y'all need to help me. I need the community. Community need to help me. I don't want the money. So you say all of that. And now you come on Vlad TV and then you say, <laughs> well, it's funny because I was groomed. That's funny. Do you see why people think you're full of shit? Because you sound stupid. Like, bro, people don't know. Bro, you sound crazy. Am I the only one? You can laugh at this? There was a time where, I mean, Eric laugh about it now when we came home from jail. I was groomed. I was around a bunch of child molesters that molested me. It's like, you know, when I say to my family, they, they talk like my uncle Bo, for example, right? He never molested me. But he always found himself masturbating in my bedroom with me and my sister in the same room. And it was like, we done told the family, that screamed out a thousand times over, Ma, he's doing it again. And you, you're talking about we're kids here. We're kids here. It, 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 this, is, this is how I was groomed. It's like when you watch the comedian, I forgot which one it was. I think it was. All so he never answered the question. Pay attention that he never answered the question. He deflected. He didn't answer the question. Um, Chris Rock, and he talks about how we all got that family member on Christmas and Thanksgiving. He's in a, in a living room and he done touched all the kids. It's really true. Every day, every black family has one. No, no, no. I've never been touched on by no man in my family. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. You tripping. But pay attention how he don't answer the question. He doesn't directly answer the question. That's why people think that you and Bam Bada are in a relationship. It makes no sense because this is what people in an abusive relationship do. When someone is in love with their partner and they know they're being misused, but they're so brainwashed and they so, you know, stuck on this person for whatever reason. 
They know they need to get away, so they get away, but they don't want that person to be punished. For whatever reason, they have some type of mind control over this person. That's what you sound like. You sound crazy. Why don't you answer the question directly? Damn in jail, he would be. This is exactly why Ben when it comes to murder. And, you know, when you look at the PVD situation 27 years later, it's kind of the same thing. Can he technically be convicted of being a part of that murder even today? Why do you think I kept saying to everybody, if I wanted to put Jay Bam in jail, he would be? This is exactly why Ben doesn't play with me. So when people be like, oh, he's a government informant. No, you got to understand something. I've been, I was knee deep in these streets. And Ben played a big part in my life in these streets. What? Well, I guess what I don't understand is you get into the situation, you call Ben Bada. To, to help get you out of there. Yeah. Everybody gets stabbed, you show up at his house exactly. to, to support him. But if this is the dude that molested you, why, why would you ever be around him, period? Like, I, I can, from my point of view, I would never want to see a person like that ever again. And if I did, I'd probably want to do something to them when I was around him. Well, I mean... Now, that's a very straightforward question. Listen to how he beats around the bush and doesn't answer the question directly and he goes to somebody else. He doesn't answer the question directly. And that's why people think you're in a relationship with him. Well, you was in a relationship. There was a time where, I mean, Eric laugh about it now when we came home from jail. I was groomed. I was around a bunch of child molesters that molested me. It's like, you know, when I say to my family, they, they talk like my uncle Bo, for example, right? He never molested me, but he always found himself masturbating in my bedroom with me and my sister in the same room. What the and fuck? it was like, we done told the family, the screen got a thousand times over. Ma, he's doing it again. And you, you're talking about we're kids here. Kids here. This, is, this is how I was groomed. It's like when you watch the comedian, I forgot which one it was. I think it was um, Chris Rock. And he talks about how we all got that family member on Christmas and Thanksgiving. He's in a, in a living room and he done touched all the kids. It's really true. Every, damn, every black family has one. The fact that you didn't answer the question, in my opinion, you just confirmed that you and Bam Battle, Bam Battle was in a relationship. I, I think this is confirmation, in my opinion. In my opinion, the fact that you didn't answer that question directly and you transferred to somebody else, like you're really trying to protect this nigga. The simple fact that you said that you can put him in jail, but you choose not to. You was in love with this nigga. This is what people in love do. In my opinion. This is insane. I can't believe. Am I tripping? Y'all hit that like button if y'all agree with me and leave a comment. I, what, I'm, I'm confused. Y'all leave a comment down below. I'm out.